A single-player video game is a video game where input from only one player is expected throughout the course of the gaming session. A single-player game is usually a game that can only be played by one person, while single-player mode is usually a game mode designed to be played by a single player, though the game also contains multiplayer modes. Most modern console games and arcade games are designed so that they can be played by a single player, although many of these games have modes that allow two or more players to play, not necessarily simultaneously. Very few actually require more than one player for the game to be played. The Unreal Tournament series is one example of such. History The earliest video games, such as Tennis for Two 1958, Space War 1962, and Pong 1972, were symmetrical games designed to be played by two players. Single-player games gained popularity only after this, with early titles such as Speed Race 1974 and Space Invaders 1978. The reason for this, according to Raf Koster, is down to a combination of several factors, increasingly sophisticated computers and interfaces that enabled asymmetric gameplay, cooperative gameplay and story delivery within a gaming framework, coupled with the fact that the majority of early games players had introverted personality types according to the Myers-Briggs personality type indicator, although most modern games incorporate a single-player element either as the core or as one of several several game modes, single-player gaming is currently viewed by the video game industry as peripheral to the future of gaming, with Electronic Arts Vice President Frank Gabo stating in 2012 that he had not approved one game to be developed as a single-player experience. The question of the financial viability of single-player AAA games was raised following the closure of Visceral Games by Electronic Arts EA in October 2017. Visceral had been a studio that established itself on a strong narrative single-player focus with Dead Space, and had been working on a single-player, linear narrative Star Wars game at the time of the closure. EA announced following this that they would be taking the game in a different direction, specifically, a broader experience that allows for more variety and player agency. Many commentators felt that EA made the change as they did not have confidence that a studio with an AAA scale budget could produce a viable single player game based on the popular Star Wars franchise. Alongside this, as well as relatively poor sales of games in the year prior that were principally AAA single player games Resident Evil 7 Prey, Dishonored 2, and Deus Ex, Mankind Divided against financially successful multiplayer games and those offer a games as a service model Overwatch, Destiny 2, and Star Wars Battlefront 2, were indicators to many that the single player model for AAA was waning. Manveer Air, who had left EA after finishing his gameplay design work for Mass Effect Andromeda, acknowledged that the culture within EA was against the development of single-player games, and with Visceral's closure, "...that the linear single-player triple-A game at EA is dead for the time being." Bethesda in December 7, 2017, decided to collaborate with Linda Carter to launch a public safety announcement to save single-player gaming. Topic. Game elements As the narrative and conflict in single-player gameplay is created by a computer rather than a human opponent, single-player games are able to deliver certain gaming experiences that are typically absent, or de-emphasized, in multiplayer games. Topic. Story. Single-player games rely more heavily on compelling stories to draw the player into the experience and to create a sense of investment. Humans are unpredictable, so human players, allies or enemies, cannot be relied upon to carry a narrative in a particular direction, and so multiplayer games tend not to focus heavily on a linear narrative. By contrast, many single-player games are built around a compelling story. Uh, 
Topic: Characters. While a multiplayer game relies upon human-human interaction for its conflict, and often for its sense of camaraderie, a single-player game must build these things artificially. As such, single-player games require deeper characterization of their non-player characters in order to create connections between the player and the sympathetic characters and to develop deeper antipathy towards the game's antagonists. This is typically true of role-playing games RPGs, such as Dragon Quest and the Final Fantasy series, which are primarily character-driven. Exceptions These game elements are not firm, fixed rules. Single player puzzle games such as Tetris or racing games focus squarely on gameplay. See also Massively multiplayer online game